Hey everybody, TJ's Garage again. Um, got a quick fix, actually a, a really good fix for uh, garden hoses. That's the time of the year everybody's going to turn your hose on and you're going to see water spraying everywhere. So you're going to go to the hardware store and you're going to buy one of these kits, okay, whether it's brass or plastic, and you're going to take it apart and you're going to put it on and then you're going to get stuck with this clamp on the outside, right? And then every time you go to tighten your hose down, you're going to have blood flying everywhere because this little tab is going to cut your fingers. So what do you do? You take the old duct tape or the freaking electrical tape, and you're going to tape it up, and you're going to have this big wad of tape on the end of your hose, and eventually it's going to leak again anyway. So what I did was, what I've been doing, I got your regular hose fitting for the 5 ace hose, right? When you cut the end off, when you cut your ends, try to use a hose cutter or some kind of tubing cutter to give yourself a straight cut, okay? There you go. There's your straight cut. Get your kit. This, this is garbage. You can throw this hose clamp in the garbage. What you do is you go get a three-quarter inch PEX. It's called a cinch fitting, okay? Three-quarter inch for PEX. You notice there's nothing really sharp here that's going to cut your fingers once you get it on your garden hose. So here's what you're doing. Cut your garden hose straight. Now sometimes you got a mold in the inside that's going to kind of hinder this from going in because it's going to cause you know a little bit of an um, uh, obstruction there. So what you do is you just go in a little bit with a blade. Right? Just cut it off. Like that. Now you should have enough room to get your fitting in. You take a little shot of grease, a little WD-40, put it on your fitting, put a little on the outside. Now everybody's probably saying, holy crap, that's a hell of a lot to do. Yeah, but when you're bleeding like a sieve from your hose, because your hand's all cut up, you'll think twice. Take your PEX fitting. Put this on first. Three-quarter inch. This is a five-eighths inch fitting. Okay? Put this in your end of your hose. Push it in all the way till it seats. Now sometimes it's going to be kind of hard to put it in there. That's why you're going to use grease. If you're still having a hard time, take your O-ring out, which is going to be stuck in the end. Take a socket. Hammer it in. It'll drive your fitting right into the hose, as you see, just like that. Go all the way in. Right? Then you take your three-quarter inch PEX, slide it right up at the top. See how nice that is? Very pretty too. If you have a pair of side cutters or wire cutters, right here, you take your PEX, grab the end by the horseshoe, squeeze it. Don't go nuts on it. There you go. It will not leak. It looks better. It's not going to cut your hands because it's rounded. And there you have it. There's a 90% chance you will not need another hose fitting on this end. The only time you're going to cut this hose is if it leaks somewhere else. But this is not going to leak. Again, 5 8 5 8 hose, 3 quarter inch PEX cinch clamp. That's it. It's the last hose clamp you're ever going to need. Guaranteed. Thanks, that's it.